Hi guys, I know it's been a minute. Sorry, it's just been really crazy, but I wanted to show you guys a few things that I've been up to and just ways that I've been using some of my um, old stamps and also new to me stamps. So the first thing that I did do <clears throat> is I had gotten these stamps a while back. I had inherited them from someone actually. I wasn't really into um, stamping up as much. I was kind of a periodic. But anyway, um, she had given me these. And they're kind of dorky looking, and I hadn't used them. They were just in my drawer, and I just couldn't figure out what to do with them. And then one day I just thought, you know what? It's gardening season. I have a lot of farmers and gardeners in my life. <clears throat> so I went ahead and pulled these out to see what I could create. And I'm actually pretty happy with the stuff that I did create. And again, they are kind of weird looking, but at the same time, they have some uh, personality to them. So I did take this little um, onion. And the one that, what it said originally is tears to you. I didn't really like that. So I went ahead and just created this one and I added, um, oh, hello friend. And then on the inside, I haven't really finished it completely. But the person I have in mind for this. They do like, they're very much into like Farmer's Almanac and reading and, you know, research and that sort of thing. And they always have flowers and that sort of thing. So I just thought that would be a cute little background. And then I'm going to obviously add like some sort of sentiment on there. Just so, you know, just kind of thinking of you or hope you're having a good week, whatever. So just a nice little um, thinking of you card mostly to mail out and obviously I got to trim that up but that's what I've been doing and then the funny thing is I had colored these in before I got this paper and then I thought wow that will work so well and I personally think that these two together with the way I colored it in and then this paper is awesome so yeah that's why I did that but it was just kind of coincidental it wasn't like I had planned it out and that's the cool thing about crafting. Sometimes you just do things and then it's like, ooh, this is going to work. Ooh, cool, this is going to work. So yeah, that's what I did with this one. <clears throat> and then in addition to that, I did create this little carrot. She's just super cute. Love this mosaic print paper. So I went ahead and incorporated, incorporated that with it. And then I thought this blue would be picked up pretty good with that. So yeah, I did that with this one. I might add a little ribbon or something. Um, not sure yet. This one's probably not complete yet. So there is going to be some sort of embellishment to it before I finish it off. But yeah, that's that. And then the inside, I just did this. Hope your day is as wonderful as you are, is as wonderful as you are. And I got that <clears throat> from another stamp set that I just received from a friend who's a demonstrator, she had let go of a lot of her stamps just because they try to make room. So she gave me this one. And this one has a lot of really nice sentiments. I love all these little, um, you know, prints. Like, that's my favorite right there. But I also like all these. <clears throat> you know, hope your day is as wonderful as you are. Life is beautiful because of you. These are just really nice sentiments, and of course you do have the Happy Mother's Day and that sort of thing, but you can get a lot of use out of different stamps if you really kind of think about pulling some of your old stuff out. And that's what I've been trying to do more than just buy, buy, buy. Now, I'm really good about buying too, so I'm not saying that I'm not going to have some, you know, hauls and orders and deliveries to share with you, but I'm trying to also use what I have because I have a lot of beautiful things that I can use. And then I'm also getting stuff that are new to me. So, yeah. And then this guy is probably my favorite. I named him Mr. String Bean. And if you share, if you're on Instagram or Facebook with me, you probably saw him. Um, either initially when I first created him or, you know, as, as the card progressed. But, yeah, that's what I did with him. He's my favorite little guy. And then these little... Um, these little sequin looking things, they kind of remind me of peas or whatever. So I just thought that was perfect for this card. And then this, this stuff came from a different, from a different embellishment kit that I had. So I went ahead and used that. The paper is another paper that was given to me because she is cleaning out her um, stuff. So yeah, this is beautiful. I just love, I love this paper. 
And then the inside of this one, they are into rabbits. They have rabbits. They um, farm rabbits. So that's what the inside looks like. And then I did emboss this with a folder that I have. So that's what I did with that. And then I created a leaf out of, oh, I guess it's a different set. Because I found a leaf on a different stamp set. So yeah, and then this little guy is from a pumpkin, a paper pumpkin kit. And if you guys have followed me for a while, you know what the paper pumpkin kit is. It's basically a little kit that we get per month. It's a subscription from Stamping Up. And that little rabbit was in one of the kits that we had um, a while back. I think it was in April. So yeah, and he's super cute. I just love him. So I stamped him out on brown paper. So there's that, guys. And then I also want to go ahead and share. Sorry I'm out of breath. I'm, uh, I've been running around, and then also I'm having some breathing issues. So, no, I should be fine. But, um, you know, as far as this other stuff, but I think it's just allergies and stuff. <clears throat> Speaking of paper pumpkin, I do have these to share with you as well. These are the ones from this month. I think it was, well, I guess it would be the June, month of June. It's called the Box of Sunshine box looks like this and um, basically these are the creations I think I've got one card that I didn't create yet but basically you've got the lemon one here this one this one <clears throat> and then I'll show you the other one I haven't made yet and it would be this card right there so it says, um, sending sunshine. I just love this paper. I love everything about this, um, set. Oh, sorry. I'm also working on a dog. So since I already showed you, I'm just embossing this guy. And then, um, I'll probably just incorporate these little guys into it. But yeah, that's another set. I'll show you guys when I'm done with it. But anyway, the paper pumpkin just comes with, you know, the stamp sets. And all of these cool embellishments. Sorry. So, uh, let's see if I can get that. I thought it had it all situated. <laughs> I guess not. So see all this cool stuff that you can use to create cards. And then they also gave you an extra little um, kit. Like an extra little um, stickers that you're supposed to add to the top of the box to decorate the box and if you want you can go ahead and ship it off to someone you know like a present um like a gift or something I haven't decided yet but I think I am keeping the box I do like keeping boxes just for storage and that sort of thing and this one's a little unique because it's yellow our pumpkins are usually kind of like a color like this color so when you get the colored ones are kind of cool to use but I don't know I might give it away who knows we'll see but that's the paper pumpkin. The other thing I did create with a paper pumpkin was I'm doing a kind of like a card that's just thinking of you. Uh, you're in my prayer kind of card. Um, I don't really want to call it a sympathy card because been there, don't like them, don't want to do one. So basically, I had gotten this back in April. This is another paper pumpkin. And I created kind of an alternative card. This is the original way that it should have been. But what I did was I took it, I cut it, I added it to this cardstock, and created a totally different card. So it's kind of the same idea, but I made it a little bit brighter. The sun's shining um, a little bit more out you know, that sort of thing. And then I did create the inside. I did this just with a little daubers. I'm going to put a sentiment in there. Don't know what I'm putting in yet. But again, it's just going to be kind of like a thinking of you, um, you know, thoughts and prayers, that sort of thing. I just don't like doing I don't know. It's just my opinion, but I just don't, I prefer not to get sympathy cards. So it's nice to just kind of, uh, just to just acknowledge, you know, that they're in your thoughts and prayers. That's what I want. And then just kind of, I have the sun in there because I just felt that this was a little bit too bleak. 
kind of doom and gloom in a way in a way so I went ahead and added a little bit more of a sunshine kind of trying to peek out I might add a little bit of yellow to that because obviously you know whatever but I, at the time I was using grapefruit grove so that's the color of ink from stamping up but yeah I might add a little bit of yellow to that but that's just my thought process this is what I did this morning been a little stressed out guys so if you if you guys want to say a prayer for me go ahead um nothing major just stressing a lot going on lots going on with our state too so this pandemic thing's just killing our state literally so yeah go say say a prayer for that as well but it's just been a little bit crazy just work and everything so yeah also created this card again when i'm stressed i'm either cleaning or creating and um this week i chose to create so this is what I created this, um, I added to it because I had already started on this, never finished it. So I added a little bit to it. And again, here's that little flower again from the paper pumpkin. Um, I did create these cards, but I had extras. And that's the cool thing about having the pumpkin kits. You can do, use the extras. So anyways, I added the little flower to it. I had added these flowers before. I added the heart. The little button, just because. And I'm going to go ahead and send this off. And this is a little bit different because it opens kind of like that. So that's kind of a fun card. And that's just a friend card. Thinking of you. And then uh, the last thing I am going to show you guys is this cute little um, memory decks. Again, this is a kit. Not a kit. Um, a stamp set that I had for this, ping, this uh, peacock. And that's why I created with the paper that they had. And then what I did was, um, this is a sticker from Dollar Tree that I just added to this little cardstock. And then the back has my information. So this is just basically my memory dex card. So you tuck her back in. And again, she's just a sticker. And then on the back, I just did this. And again, this was just created with Dauber stuff and Night of Navy ink and uh, Pretty Peacock, I believe it's called. I don't remember. It's Peacock something uh, color. So yeah, that's what I did. And then, of course, this is an embossed um, cardstock. And then I added these cool little um, rhinestone looking things. And the rhinestone looking things I actually got from Dollar Tree as well. So yeah, you can incorporate things from different places. And of course, this is that... Um, that yarn that everybody's been kind of feathery stuff that everyone has been hauling from Dollar Tree. So I just kind of created that. I didn't have regular peacock feathers or I might have considered putting those in. So I went ahead and just used this and I think it works. I think it's cute. It's frou-frou, girly. <laughs> so yeah, that's going out um, and I'll go ahead and do a separate VR for that. That's going out to someone specific for a VR. So I'll, I'll share it again. But that's that, guys. That's what I've been up to. Um, you will be seeing a little bit more of me this week. I have a box of, it's a cause box. And then I also have another surprise box that I'm really excited about. And I think any of the crafters would be too. So definitely check me out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.